the ability to uh, scale resources, to, to, so to add or remove resources uh, de in, in real time, depending on the actual, actual needs. Of, uh, it also means being uh, able to deploy a service uh, very quickly, almost uh, instant, instantaneously. Uh, what, what we have in mind is a kind of uh, zero-touch approach uh, where you, you just design your service, filling a template, your network service, filling a template with appropriate properties, the list of functions to be deployed, and then you press a button. So it's not zero-touch, it's one-touch. <laughs> <laughs> you press a button and everything is deployed. So it's a huge difference uh, with the current situation where if you want to deploy a new service, you have in most cases to, to buy a new uh, physical box then to install it physically to have appropriate staff trained to install the box physically and things like that. So this should disappear. So uh, of course, nothing happens by magic. You need also to have appropriate uh, backend uh, OSS systems and so on. But... Uh, Ultimately, I think, uh, well, no doubt that uh, this will be the major uh, benefit for NMV. In general, the uh, telco sector has been, uh, well, I would say anything but fast in <laughs> reacting to, uh, to, to direct requirements for the, from the customers. And we're starting to realize that uh, it's something that you have to do. You have to be as fast as possible, and, and, and that means... Uh, reducing the time of uh, for first delivering services and second uh, providing the service to the customers for months for delivery of the of the of the whole service and, and days in the in the best case when talking about the uh, provisioning to just minutes or seconds and that would be the famous monetization and we have found that uh, that uh, precisely providing on demand, just in time, personalized security services, or would constitute a, a, a good market opportunity, and we're making some experiments in that direction, based for sure in NFV. Uh, actually, of the, of the technology, I mean, we're doing this for one purpose. I think there are a few aspects uh, here that are, are relevant. One is how the, the, the ecosystem can be fostered by the simplicity of adding new things. That's one point. I mean, you have less entry barriers for for considering new types of solutions, new types of players. Even the, 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 the well-known players have more incentives to do things in a, in a different manner. I think that this is, is creating, uh, not beyond the, the, the hype that any new technology creates, is creating some real things, and, and we are seeing them already, even in, in, in this stage where this is yeah, work in progress. That's, that we, I think that we can take that for granted. The other big promise is about uh, the automation. Which degree of automation that we could not get in the past we have now the opportunity to get. And I think that there's a, a, a lot to do that there because we are creating the building blocks for doing the things in a different manner. And we need to figure out, even as service provider, but also as industry in general, how to use those building blocks, not in the same manner that we use the old ones, but with the new capabilities that they offer. And that includes not, not only the, uh, the pure virtualization thing, that is just a mean to achieve an objective, but also the main to automate that further and, and, and think uh, in terms of services as you know, the fields uh, they, they, they are doing already. And, and uh, getting detached from the physical stuff, from the machines located in a given uh, place, and the, and the mm, cars that they have attached to them, now that we can be less specific and then define uh, uh, almost on demand what we, what we need, we have the opportunity to change our mindset and be more agile. Mm -hmm.